Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna share with you a story about Christmas. So you know guys, Christmas is very joyous, wonderful, and fantastic celebration. Even non-Catholic believers and non-Christian is also celebrating the marking and the uh, spirit of Christmas in every way. So I hope you stay tuned to my channel and if you find something useful, please share, like, and subscribe. So what's up guys? The Story of Christmas Once upon a time, about 2,000 years ago, there was a young woman who lived in the town of Nazareth. And this young woman named Mary, she was with her engaged partner Joseph when the King Herod ruled over Judea that time. The angel named Gabriel appeared and said to Mary, Peace be with you. God blessed you amongst women. Mary was in shock and frightened, but the angel said, Don't be afraid, Mary. God is so good for you. You will become pregnant by the Holy Spirit and you giving birth to a baby boy and you name him Jesus. He will become God's sons and he will rule the kingdom that never ends. Mary was so shocked and frightened, but Mary has faith and trusted God. The angel told Mary that even her cousin Elizabeth in her old age she will become pregnant too. In God, nothing is impossible. Mary packed her things, waved goodbye to her family and friends. She is going to Elizabeth's house to visit her and to bring the good news. Elizabeth and Zechariah was very happy to see and welcome Mary as they knew that Mary is a chosen people of God to become a mother of his son. Mary stayed in Elizabeth for three months and returned home. When Joseph found out that Mary is expecting a child before their marriage, Joseph planning to end up his relationship with Mary.
But the angel appeared to Joseph by a dream. The angel explained and told Joseph that don't be afraid because Mary is giving birth to a son of God. And he must name him Jesus, meaning a savior, because he will be born to the world to save people. When the angel talked to Joseph, he did what the angel told him. During the time of Roman Emperor Augustus wanted to know the list of people living in his empire, so Joseph and Mary traveled all the way to Bethlehem to participate. They traveled by a donkey. Mary was in Jew during that time. They reached Bethlehem, but they have nowhere to stay since many people are participating. Houses and inns are fully occupied. The only place they could stay is in animal barn, so they warm themselves with the animals and here at that place, Jesus was born in a manger. Over the hills and fields where the shepherd looked after their sheep, the angel appeared and told them that today in the town of Bethlehem, the Savior was being born in a manger. When the angel disappeared, the shepherd set off and find the baby boy lying in the manger with Mary and Joseph. So the shepherd do what the angel told them. In far away, some wise men saw a very bright star and they knew what it meant. Only this star appeared when there is a great newborn king. So they set off to follow the stars, but when they reached Jerusalem, King Herod heard about the news and he told to the wise men, Go and find that baby so that I can bring him gifts too. But they don't know what is Herod's plans. He was scared that this baby would take his place. So the wise men followed the stars and they reached Bethlehem. They saw the holy family and they offered the gifts of frankincense, myrrh, and gold. But the wise men being warned in a dream, they don't come back to Herod, so when they back home, they took another route. When King Herod found out that he was being cheated by the wise men, he is very angry and ordered to kill all the infant aged two years old and below. When the wise men left, the angel appeared to Joseph and said, Take Mary and Jesus to Egypt, stay there until I told you. So Joseph got up and did what the angel told him.
for Herod is going to search Jesus and kill him. So Joseph get up and do what the angel told him. After the time Herod was dead, Joseph had another dream. The angel said, Get up and bring your wife and son to Israel. But since Joseph heard that the newborn king of Israel was King Herod's son, he went to Galilee, a town of Nazareth, and lived there. for watching